So whenever you're solving an absolute value, you want to watch out for negative numbers and zeros. So once you have that absolute value solved for, I've got this negative number on the other side. And what this is saying is that the absolute value of a number is less than a negative number. But we know that an absolute value is always positive. And a positive number being less than a negative number, that's very, very false, right? That's never, ever going to happen. So this is our no solution case. All right, so positive, just think of a positive number less than a negative, never, no way. But how about this one? A positive number greater than a negative number? Yeah, that's always, right? So um, this is our all real number case, all real numbers. Now the zero gets a little bit trickier. Take a look at this one. Uh, this is a positive number being less than zero. Never. That's never ever going to happen. <laughs> Always. Never. Positive numbers are never less than zero. So this is still no solution. This one here, absolute value represents a positive number. Positive number being greater than zero. And you want to say always, right? But there's one case when it's not, right? Almost always. It won't be greater than zero if it's equal to zero, right? So if x is negative 3, it'll equal zero, and zero is not greater than zero. So this is all real numbers except for x equals negative 3. So all real numbers except for x equals negative 3. If you want fancy notation, it's the set of all x such that x does not equal negative 3. So every single x, the set of all x, such that x doesn't equal negative 3. All right, next case. x plus 3 less than or equal to 0. This is a positive number being less than or equal to 0. Um, our positive numbers are usually not less than zero. Um, this is, so this is usually false, right? So this is usually positive numbers are not less than zero, but there's one case where this will work, right? Um, so the only case this works for is when it equals zero, right? When x is negative three, Negative 3 plus 3 will be 0, and 0 is less than or equal to 0. So the only um, solution is x equals negative 3. That's the only solution. Here, everything except for negative 3. Here, the only thing that will work when you plug in x will be a negative 3. Last case, a little bit more straightforward. This is a positive number being greater than or equal to 0. That's true all the time. This is another nice, normal, all real numbers case. All right, and that's that.